You know that really amazing feeling you get after you have the best haircut ever? It's amazing, but what about when bad hair happens to good people? It's tragic. Welcome to Domestic Partners, where we talk about food, drink, and all things domestic. I'm Gabby from whatsgabbycooking.com. I'm Aida from AidaMallenCamp.com. And here on Domestic Partners, we sweat the small stuff. And let's be honest, a bad hair day, it's not really small stuff. So this week is all devoted to how do you handle a bad hair day? Okay, first off, if you are having a bad hair day, you need to contain that thing on your head. Slick it back, put it in a ponytail, put it in a sock bun, something to try and just get it under control. And if that's not working, then you jazz it up and you put a big hair piece on or a headband or a hat and just make it look like, you know, you did it on purpose. If that fails, then just start drawing attention away from your hair. So put on a giant big pair of heels, wear a low cut blouse, some short shorts, or wear a giant handbag. So something takes away people's attention from what's going on on top of your head. And if all that fails, then what you do is this. You lock the door and you pull a Gabby Dock in. You call in sick because of the bad hair day. Do what you gotta do. True. It's okay. No one will ever know. And if you do that, what you need to help you through, ham and egg breakfast pizza. It's got a little bit of asparagus, some prosciutto, Parmesan, manchego cheese. Oh and my gosh, there's a fried egg on top, there is prosciutto, did you say prosciutto? Double the prosciutto for bad hair days, it's the only way to live. I mean, the reality is if your hair's looking bad, at least you should eat something good. And here's this week's food for thought. You can't control everything. Your hair was put on your head to remind you of that. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Domestic Partners. Be sure to leave a comment below and subscribe. And if you need to, you know, sweat other small things in life, well then check out our other episodes like who is your celebrity hall pass and how do you survive March Madness? These are the things that you might want to know. See you next week.